Sheriff Tim Gobble and thank you for watching BCSO TV. Today we're coming to you from the environment and I have environmental officer Mike Hughes with me today. Mike, welcome to BCSO TV. Thank you for coming by. I appreciate you being here. Thank you for all the hard work that you do at the Sheriff's Office on a day-to-day -day basis to help protect our community and the environment that we live, live in. Let's tell our viewers just a little bit about your job and this day-to-day -day responsibilities. My job, in short, is just to protect the safety, health, and general welfare of the public. And that's what's impressed me about you is the fact that you moved it to the detectives division to you know, show how important the protection of the safety and general welfare of the public is. By doing that, that helps us to be proactive and to investigate those who are responsible for damaging our environment, and I appreciate the work that, that you do. What's the process by which uh, you get your information to launch an investigation? Let's tell our viewers. And generally what happens is the public is actually calling me at my office and it's going from there. We start a record of what their name and so on and so on. So uh, as soon as they call in a complaint, I go in and investigate and go from there. If there's a true true problem, then we take care of it as such. Now you're not looking for civil codes violations. That's another responsibility. What you're looking for are criminal law violations. Under the Tennessee Criminal Code, there are environmental laws that have to be enforced. And you enforce those uh, criminal code viola criminal law violations. Is that correct? That is correct. Normally the, the environmental laws that we actually use falls under the criminal littering code. So, you know, in fact, it is a criminal offense. Also, illegal dumping and things of that nature you look at and uh, help to identify those responsible. Now, you issue citations. I do. And you do that on a fairly regular basis uh, after people have had the opportunity to properly clean up uh, these uh, illegal dump sites and things of that nature. Uh, how many citations do would you maybe issue in a month? Do you in have, a month? You know? In average, it's one to two a month. Okay. And do uh, you have other investigations ongoing all the time? We do. We actually, it normally runs about 60 cases that's running investigations. We average about 30 a month that's new. With the primary goal being to clean, get the uh, environment cleaned up. To clean up the environment and remediate the problems that's there. Uh, tell us a little bit about some of the areas that you have discovered in Bradley County where you have opened investigations and actually had success in getting property cleaned up. We've actually had a complaint, and one was through the state that called my office and complained on a trailer park that was on Freewell Road. That has since been went to court and been remediated. It appears much better. Uh, there's still some other problems. As far as on Ellis Drive, we've worked on one there that went to court. Um, High Street, of course, and there's several others that we're still working on. Criminal, we had a criminal littering case, in fact, a while back that was on Al Hollow Road where someone actually dumped uh, engine blocks into the in the middle of the road there. I believe I saw that one highlighted in uh, one of our local newspapers and you identified the person responsible for that and they've been brought to justice, haven't they? That is correct. I appreciate your efforts there uh, and I want you to keep up the good work. It's important to all of us that we protect our environment and we preserve it not only for ourselves but for our children. That's why the Bradley County Sheriff's Office it, uh, takes environmental responsibility seriously. Thank you for watching BCSO TV. And remember when we say protect and serve, we mean it.